Hey guys, welcome back to another Metro Exodus Sam story. This is part two. Um, I will leave the little link to uh, part one if you haven't seen it on the top right corner of the video. Uh, at the moment, we're trying to find the captain or so. Yeah, we have to find the captain. Tom says the old captain is the only one who knows where the nuclear fuel, fuel rods are stored, so I have to find him. I sure hope he'll be willing to talk to me once I deliver Tom's offer to him, though. Alright, so we're going to have to go and check these areas out. But first, we're going to have to get... Got to get some supplies first. And like I said, I'll... shut the door they uh sorry talking but uh like i said i'll probably keep these videos to um uh, i would say 25 to 30 minutes longish because rendering it it's a pain in the butt <laughs> it takes like a good two to three hours so i'm trying to give you guys as much possible update as i can aha uh -huh. i could use this we could definitely use this so let's go to that uh shooting range, the guy said. Tom said. Howdy, Uncle Sam. You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's that way. Cross the bridge. Gotcha. That's a pretty cool little place you got. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. Nah, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Damn it. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's see if it works now. Engines on! <laughs> you really made the grade. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. It's closed. Ugh, but why? It's just closed. This, why is it closed, man? Closed for special service. If I could, I'd let you in, but I have orders. Ugh, all right. Aha, here's our guest. Come on in. Spasibo. Hey, how come you let him through? Wait, didn't you hear the announcement? This guy just came from America to see the boss. <laughs> no shit, how did he get here? He was paradropped from the orbit. All his stuff burned up on re-entry. So the boss wants him to have our best gear to prove his hospitality. Ooh, damn. That's so awesome! <laughs> like the little cigarette that goes over here? Or... Can't go through there, that's the armory, but is it through here? Yeah. Ah, I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam, so I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. Huh. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. You can Goodness. also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. 
Ooh. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. Here's your ammo. Good luck. Where can I, uh, go? Ooh. So this it can detect a lot of a lot of things. Don't mind if quick. I do. Try to hit all the targets. It's kind of wonky. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks. This that one should not amazing. just feel Here's familiar. It's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic. We've sold. See you around. Hmm. Guess I'll change that. That. Some mags. It's not. Well, I could use the workbench real quick. All right, I might just edit this part out. Just give me a second. <laughs> All right, I think I'm good to go now. All right, let's go outside. Check this out. So, did you get geared up? Weapon zeroed in and all that stuff. Yep, everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then. Alright, so I'm not sure if we're gonna take a boat all the way over there or just walk. But we'll see though, we'll see. This place has got a nice setup. Everybody's well armed and everything, so it should be set. Hello there, our American guest. How do you do? I heard you saw the captain. How is he? Don't answer. I know it's tough for him. If you see him again, tell him. Tell him we haven't forgotten a thing he's done for us. And we're ready to follow him anywhere. Hmm. We're still checking. But yes, there's definitely okay. some missing. Okay. Suspects. Uh, yeah, stop. yeah, there's this clown, Babyface. He took off as soon as we came to check on him and locked himself up in his cabin. The guys are trying to get him out. Ooh, somebody robbing? I know. So, you don't like Tom's new direction? Look. I know you're trying to provoke me, but I'm past caring now, so I'll just tell you straight. I don't like Tom and his business shtick, but that's not what's killing me. It's the way he took over, 
It's the way he got rid of the captain and all the officers. And it's Klim and his goons that I hate. Hmm. I also think Captain was there. Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? Still beaten up. No hard feelings. <laughs> Great. The boss told us to find your nice boat, and here she is. Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just take the wheel and use the remote box. Like the stick on a car. And you'll be fine. We will install the compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure spirit inside. Also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to stop, even if you switch to reverse. And please, bring her back in one piece. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'll try. She has a lot of sentimental value for him. <laughs> Indeed, she does. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to that first question mark. Hopefully, we don't come up with anything or confront anything too big or too dangerous. Never mind, I said that too early. <laughs> Shit, that was close. All right, the guys are. Me, so I got the green light to do that. I'm not sure if there's any karma system in this as the uh, original like campaign for Archim was. I just hate the water metro, not gonna lie. It just I don't know. It's so murky and everything, you just don't know what's underneath the murky waters. One of the hideouts, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Get a place to be. Do need some health packs. Give me that. Good 
could be of use. All right, let's try to be as sneaky as we can. We cannot engage these guys. I don't have a lot of a. Uh... What is that dude doing over there? guys take a good amount of bullets All right, where's that compass telling us right in the groin area <laughs> good thing that they didn't go off to the water Back my I could use that. There's something in here. Subverto. Can I like? I can't. Guess I need a key for it or something, or if there's like a vent system or so. I don't know. There's not a place we can actually go around. Anyways, we're gonna keep going forward. Things is radiation, radiation plants, or something like that. I don't know. I'm checking the compass, see if there's anything useful around. Priodica. Jumped on me like nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm just like I said, I kind of stop and kind of see where these this little uh, compass is showing me to. So we can find anything useful or weapons or stuff like that as well. I think it should be close to either that or it's underneath me somewhere somehow. What does this dude have? Oh, night vision go goggles.
check down here real quick. these shots now. <laughs> Still alive. But we gotta find some ammunition. Like I said, you... You really burn through ammunition very quick. See, I can change some scenarios. Okay. There's something on this side. Oh no, never mind. It's the same, same place. Ugh. Oh, this thing again! Come on. Out there, um, that does it? Nope, it's all water, and there's looks like I could actually go there, but. Don't see another entrance or anything like that. Uh, that just brings us back to the boat. It's like two or three things in here, but... This one open. Oh well. Let's go through here see what we can find. I think I could use those. Molotov. It's probably underneath here actually. Oh, here we go. All right. What is this? We're not great for your gear. Awesome. This I could definitely use. A Molotov. A lot of Molotov. <laughs> it's a good little stack here. Um, I think we should be good. I don't know if we can actually open the door. Yes, we can. Let's use a med kit as well. I'm trying to like tap Y, and, like sometimes it's not responsive. Might be my controller. Might actually need to buy another new one. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. So we search this place up. Next one, it's gonna be... It's like right across. Okay. 
jump over. Pull up or take off your night vision goggles. Or night vision. I don't think we need that for the moment. Flashlight, let's check our battery. Yeah. Parasha. His voice really sounds familiar. It sounds to, uh, I believe, from uh, Call of Duty, the zombies. That uh, U.S. Marine. I think it might be the same uh, actor or voice actor that does that. I don't know. So there's some radiation around. Just a minute of filter. Oh my. We are not prepared for this at all. <laughs> That's not good. I don't know if the recording actually picked that up, but the piano just played. Creepy as well. Not bad. <laughs> so this used to be an old school, by the looks of it. <coughs> I'm not sure if that's a radiation or so. I don't. I'm not dying or anything. It'll just be him, though. Very creepy. <coughs> what do we got here? Hey. Can't fool with that guy. Some more optics and stuff like that. Definitely helpful. Uh, Alright, there's a workbench. this real quick um definitely gonna need some filters burst system fire automatic i think burst will do definitely that standard magazine red dot i don't think so and we have nothing for this one just a laser okay throwing weapon harness carrier vest Additional strap and pockets for throwing weapons, allowing the wearer to double their stocks. Hmm, uh, I guess we could use this for now. I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. For, uh... Where's it at? Uh, definitely need some more filters as much as we can. Well, I think I'll have to stop it there. I'm hitting my, uh, I believe, 30-ish uh, or 25-ish minute mark. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little part two of it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, part three.